Hello, and welcome to Outline of the Faith, the Catechism of the Episcopal Church, Section 15, The Christian Hope. The Christian Hope. Our hope is about more than everlasting life, narrowly imagined as floating on a cloud with a harp and halo, or an endless buffet with friends and family. We should think bigger and more mystical. It is about perfect union with God in perfect love. It is about perfect communion with one another and creation. It is perfect joy without end. Question. What is the Christian hope? Answer. The Christian hope is to live with confidence in newness and fullness of life and to await the coming of Christ in glory and the completion of God's purpose in the world. Commentary. The world can be a challenging place. We have a hope that our little efforts will bear much fruit, and that ultimately everything will be brought to goodness and fulfillment. Question, what do we mean by the coming of Christ in glory? Answer, by the coming of Christ in glory, we mean that Christ will come, not in weakness, but in power, and will make all things new. Commentary. The return of Christ is a good thing. Christ will appear not as a baby in a manger, but in glory to set things right. It is the healing and restoration of all creation. Question. What do we mean by heaven and hell? Answer. By heaven we mean eternal life in our enjoyment of God. By hell we mean eternal death in our rejection of God. Commentary. We seek God and that seeking draws us toward eternal life. We should never judge or make assumptions about anyone, even ourselves, as regards heaven or hell. Our work is to love God and love our neighbor as ourselves. Question, why do we pray for the dead? Answer, we pray for them because we still hold them in our love. And because we trust that in God's presence, those who have chosen to serve him will grow in his love until they see him as he is. Commentary. We do not know exactly what death is like. We pray for the dead because we trust God will keep working with them. We pray for them just as we would for someone still alive, trusting that God is doing for them something better than we can understand. Question. What do we mean by the last judgment? Answer, we believe that Christ will come in glory and judge the living and the dead. Commentary, all the truth of human history will be told. Everything good will be celebrated, and everything harmful will be brought to light. In order for everything to be set right, truth must be told. Question, what do we mean by the resurrection of the body? Answer. We mean that God will raise us from death in the fullness of our being, and that we may live with Christ in the communion of the saints. Commentary. We are souls, minds, hearts, and bodies. What the resurrection will look like for us will be revealed. 1 John 3, 2. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. Question. What is the communion of saints? Answer. The communion of saints is the whole family of God, the living and the dead, those whom we love and those whom we hurt, bound together in Christ by sacrament, prayer, and praise. Commentary. The communion of saints transcends time and space. We share in baptism and Eucharist. At the Eucharist, we sing with the angels and saints, Holy, holy, holy. We are bound together in one body. Question, what do we mean by everlasting life? Answer, by everlasting life, we mean a new existence in which we are united with all the people of God in the joy of fully knowing and loving God and each other. Commentary. Life, joy, knowledge, love, God. 
we will be fully known and fully loved by God and one another. We will know and we will fully love God and one another. Such joy is well described by George Herbert. Come, my joy, my love, my heart, such a joy as none can move, such a love as none can part, such a heart as joys in love. Question, what then is our assurance as Christians? Answer, our assurance as Christians is that nothing, not even death, shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Commentary. The faith we proclaim is a powerful one. It is the power of God's love over all things, a love that unites us in an unbreakable bond to God who created us and a communion with all of creation in Christ. Conclusion. The Catechism is a beginning place for the life of faith. Our Catechism is shorter than other traditions. We know there is always more to be said, but the faith is more alive in our prayer, our worship, and our works than it is in an abundance of words. May this short introduction to the Christian faith help you to ask more questions, to pray more deeply, to share communion with other Christians, and to rejoice in the love of Christ. Amen. This ends the 15th and final video of our series. This has been a production of All Saints Episcopal Church in Boise, Idaho, video and commentary by Father Joseph Farnes.